Welcome back to It's an A&B Conversation. It's your boy Adrian Bug. And it's your boy Brandon. And we are here with one of the strongest men we know. We are here with <laughs> Daniel Clements. He's a power lifter. What's going on? So just tell us a little bit just about like everything you've done with powerlifting, like some accolades and just things you've yeah. done with that. Uh, so I've been powerlifting for what, like, I like four, three, four years now. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, I won uh, a junior national championships Tough. at my weight class. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this year, I won the uh, open national championships. Nice. Where, uh, where were those um, competitions? Uh, in 2019, it was in uh, Chicago. Okay. And then this year, it was in uh, Daytona Beach in Florida. Nice. Yeah. I think the first question I think everyone wants to know is how much is your max? Because that's like the first question <laughs> yeah. at the bench. Like, how much do you max, first off? Yeah, uh, so uh, for squat, my best is uh, 550. Damn. Um, bench is 375, and then uh, my best deal is 700 pounds. Damn. Yeah. Way yeah. more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Way more than me. Yeah. So, like, what made you get into weightlifting? Uh, so, I've been doing, like, martial arts since I was a little kid. Mm. And I was just training, doing that for a long time. Then I really got into, like, the contact stuff, like, mm. like, Boxing, yeah, I mean, all that shit. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's ass. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was a little twig back then when I first got into like the contact stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody, like, when we would grapple, people would just like throw me around and all that. You just got so I was like, yo, I, I need to get stronger, I need to get bigger. Do you so, think that you could beat up a baby bear? I mean, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, do you think that I, you could I, whip I, a baby bear? I could probably hold my own against a baby bear. <laughs> That'd be wild, yeah. No bullshit. What about an ape? Uh, uh, Apes are cra kind of crazy. I'm, I'm saying, like, because, like, with power lifters, how big you guys are, you guys are kind of comparable to some animals. Like, what animal do you think that you could, like, absolutely fuck just up? Just destroy? I don't know. Maybe, like, a... I think I... I don't know. Animals are kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe I could hit, like... Fight a wolf? No, nah, wolves are kind of <laughs> maybe like a regular sized dog. Like okay. I don't know, dogs are crazy. Yeah. Though. So you but, say like you were like little, you were like smaller when you were younger. So yeah. so like when did you like start getting big and shit? Like uh, I mean it was like within the first year after I started lifting was like I saw progress really fast. Mm. It's like, the best moment yeah. when you go home for like Thanksgiving and your grandma's like you look like yeah. <laughs> you just flex it. Yeah, my grandma used to be like. <laughs> <laughs> arm like that. Like, so, so like uh, do you be on a pre-workout shit oh yeah yeah, yeah of course. is that like a big booster yeah I th yeah it, def it is for sure what, yeah, which like, one do you recommend like, uh 110 percent they're like that's like the best pre-workout i've ever had mm -hmm. so I, I would definitely check them out if uh anybody needs see to i've never done pre I've never done pre-workout. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what does it do? Because I'm scared. I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> no. take it. I'm gonna be like bouncing off the wall. I mean, if you can like drink an energy drink, you'd probably be fine. Like these energy drinks nowadays got like so much caffeine, and that's like the main component of pre-workout that uh, can like that actually can boost performance a little bit. You get your heart rate going, and there's been studies that have shown that uh, caffeine is what. Right. Do you do anything else besides pre-workout? Like creatine. Creatine. That yeah. just like pushes water into, into just, your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That should just make you ripped. So like, how, <laughs> how how ripped do you want to be? Like I know some people got like, <laughs> bodybuilders. And they have, like, I mean, when I, so when I first started lifting, I didn't do it like for the strength or powerlifting aspect. I wanted to get like huge and like aesthetic, and, like super lean and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I kind of got there and like that kind of I kind of stayed. Yeah, and it just turned a, into it. Yeah, okay. like like uh, a lot of powerlifters aren't like super, like super lean and all that. Uh -huh. Everybody always asks me like, "How are you so lean?" Yeah, I'm like, "That's why I did it at first. Mm -hmm. So, so like, yeah, we were thinking like, do you do it to be strong or to be attractive or like what you what you think? So now I do it to get as strong as possible. Uh -huh. uh, back in the day, I wanted to get you know 
You wanted to get some booty. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah. So, so like, how have you seen over the times, like yourself progressing? Like, what do you think? Like, is there a cap to how much you think that you can lift? Yeah, I mean, like, I think everybody has a like a cap. I think my cap is like still pretty far out. Mm. Uh, a lot of powerlifters actually like don't end up peaking until they're around like early 30s mm-hmm. so i got plenty of time i'm only i just turned 25 last month so mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's like crossfit kind of like the same as like weight lift, like no nah, crossfit lifting no nah, crossfit's, crossfit's like a completely different thing they okay. do like it's more like endurance based and mm-hmm. they kind of do like circuit kind of things yeah exactly. yeah powerlifting like in competition you just do one rep oh shit yeah so you just train in hard as shit just for one, for one rep. Rep. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 you get like three attempts per lift uh-huh. and so you what's miss, your, then you miss. What's your workout routine? Like, take us through your workout routine. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I have a coach. I've been coached by him for a while, but, like, it's split into five different days. Um, basically, so the three lifts I do, squat, bench, deadlift. Um, day one is, like, a squat, bench day. Day two is just deadlift and, like, back stuff. Yeah. Um, day three is another squat, bench day, but it's usually, well, it's pretty much always, like, a lighter Kind of recovery kind of day, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Um, day four is like another deadlift day. Could be a technique day or could be heavier. And then day five is another uh, pretty hard like squat bench day. So, so when's your rest days? I rest on the weekend, Saturday okay. or Sunday. Oh, you get two days off? Yeah. Two days yeah. Off. yeah. So do you have like a strict diet you stick to or you just eat regularly? Um, I, I kind of eat regular, but like I keep track of like calories and macronutrients and all that because mm-hmm. I want to increase my performance as much as possible facts so yeah so being a national champion with powerlifting like what what comes with that like do you have any sponsorships or anything like that like talk a little bit about that yeah uh recently i've actually picked up a few sponsorships uh my first one was uh one ten percent that i mentioned earlier yeah yeah oh, oh that's what he's out of the not, i did i used a pre-workout for about a year or six months prior to picking up the sponsorship so i like genuinely like the product so they um, just like send you free stuff and yeah we actually like just that. got a shipment today me and uh, the guy who owns the gym i train at we're both sponsored and he just sent a oh, that's tough. shipment out yeah mm-hmm. so but yeah one ten percent is my supplement sponsor um mm-hmm. and i actually got this huge pretty huge sponsorship uh sbd they're like the biggest like uh lifting apparel and like lifting equipment mm-hmm. and all that stuff yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so and so that was like a dream sponsorship mm-hmm. so um, do you like compare yourself to like any other weightlifters or like look up to any of them? Yeah, I, I look like back in the day, I looked up to uh, some of the top guys that are still top guys today. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's funny now because I'm like, I'm like up there with them. Yeah. And people like look at me and they're like, yeah, he's with this guy and this guy. I'm like, it's like weird to be mentioned among the names that I used to look up to like a mm-hmm. couple years back. Um, and I still look up to them because like they've been doing great things. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Do you think it has the like notoriety it's supposed to have weightlifting? Like, because especially now, I feel like everyone has a fitness page. Literally, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. has a yeah. fitness page. Mm-hmm. I'm like, some people shouldn't have a fitness page. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, Wait, some people like, definitely should not have a fitness like, page. But like, do you think it's weightlifting and like people getting in the gym is where it's supposed to be right now, or is there a lot more that needs to be done with that? Um, I think I kind of like how like accessible and how huge like just fitness in general has gotten because mm-hmm. um, like back in the day like I used to watch like when fitness YouTube like first broke out like 2013 mm-hmm. kind of um, I was into that and it was still a pretty niche thing mm-hmm. and now like everybody is like everybody knows what you're talking about when you mention certain things mm-hmm. like even with powerlifting powerlifting has gotten so huge since like 2014 like it's just blown up. Like every, like if you mention it, people will know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's and it's like on ESPN and stuff now. Yeah, it's yeah, it's getting stuff. pretty big up there. So mm-hmm. like once we start, we're uh once we start getting more coverage, like it'll be awesome. Mm-hmm. And we're actually uh, I'm doing a meet in seven weeks, and it's the first like professional meet. Like there's actually money in it. Mm-hmm. Like first place takes home a lot of money. Like mm-hmm. I think ten ten k or something like Sheesh. that. Yeah. So and all like the top people in the are competing at that pretty much. So. Yeah. So does that like get to your head? Like, do you walk into a gym and you're like, 
I will beat the shit out of all these guys <laughs> right now. Especially since you take your time about like, or like even if you're at the mall, like are you like, yeah, I'll fuck this guy up or you yeah, like, like, like stay humble. <laughs> like what if somebody like you you have Planet Fitness, somebody <laughs> somebody just take your squat rack. I'm gonna say something. But <laughs> 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 well, I'm not gonna like like I'm not gonna like cause problems for people, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm more like the humble kind of oh, yeah. like start because isn't that like associated with like people who do some of those supplements don't they uh, roid rage ah! keep it up keep it up uh, yeah. 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 yeah yeah speaking of roid rage do you do you think you have a little man to- <laughs> <laughs> damn how tall are you I'm a uh, five feet two. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hey he'll whoop all y'all <laughs> <laughs> but with that like Cause I have this huge debate with my friends back home. Like, since I have longer arms uh-huh. and um, it's harder for me to like bench or do whatever because like it's taking longer because my arms are longer. Is that a thing or not? Um, like, do you have an advantage if you're shorter? I think like on the extreme ends, like this is just my personal like take on it. On the extreme ends, I think there is a little bit of advantage or disadvantage depending on what end you are. Um, but like for the most part, it depends more on your leverages, like your limb lengths and all that different kind of things. Mm-hmm. Like some people are more, some people are built to like squat, like they have insane squats, yeah. but like their deadlift or something is like trash. Mm-hmm. And like some people like me, I'm more built to deadlift. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my squat's pretty good. It's not like crazy. Mm-hmm. And then bench is all right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it just depends more on your leverages and. Instead of like just how tall or short you are, and but, like most of powerlifting deals with like technique. And yeah, like and that that's form, also a huge you know, factor. That, yeah. factor. Yeah, technique and execution and all that. So, do you so, do cardio at all, or is it just strictly just lifting? I <laughs> I used to do cardio even like while I was lifting, but recently, I, no, <laughs> not not at all. Yeah. Like five reps, that's like cardio. Uh, <laughs> that's what that's like a thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. So, so like, what would you what would you say to like the people in the workout area now? Like, how would you tell them get them a little motivated and stuff? Get them motivated. I mean, just having like a goal. Like, what do you want to achieve with fitness? Or if you if you're like into specific things like Olympic weightlifting or bodybuilding or powerlifting, like me. Mm-hmm. Like when I got into powerlifting, I had this goal. Like I wanted to be national champion. And I made that dream come true this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've always had like this even higher goal of going to Worlds, being a world champion. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully have that chance again next year. Um, but yeah, like with bodybuilding, like you can get your pro card. Uh, you can get a bunch of sponsorships. Mm-hmm. Weightlifting, try and get to uh, the Olympics and all that. Oh yeah, I was going to ask, Just, is there Olympic for um, powerlifting? Um, I think it's, they're trying to get it into the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Um, the international federation that uh used to oversee the federation i compete in Mm -hmm. um they're really trying to push push towards uh getting powerlifting into the olympics but it's not in it right now Mm -hmm. so that'd be tough do you see yourself in the olympics like what do you where do you see yourself in the future if we do get into the olympics i definitely want to compete at the olympics that would be crazy like that's like a super prestigious thing um few years i mean hopefully i've won uh, several national championships maybe more sponsorships or doing bigger things with them mm-hmm. uh hopefully the pro meet thing is going good mm-hmm. in the next few years hopefully it, it gets even bigger mm-hmm. maybe take home win some of those that'd yeah. be cool yeah mm-hmm. uh worlds and all that that'd be awesome i mean so like, how do you like even that. get to that point like if you're just at home and you're like, okay, I want to be a powerlifter. Do you like enter your name in a local contest or go to like, like how do you go about that? Uh, I mean, it's not like super hard. Like if you even have a small interest, like uh, you can just sign up for a meet. Just look up like local powerlifting meet. You'll probably find results easily. Um, mm-hmm. And then you can just it's, sign up. It's pretty easy. You just got to be swole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, hopefully you have a, like a decent program or even better would be a coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, to help guide you, but yeah. I don't think I don't think we asked you like what's your favorite event and then what's your best event. 
They're your least favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my favorite event, which is also my best event, is uh, deadlift, deadlift. For sure, yeah, because that's just like what I'm known for. People yeah. in the powerlifting uh, world. Tom. Yeah, so. <laughs> Um, least, I don't really, I don't know about a least favorite. I kind of, I just like powerlifting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say this is a least favorite, but my worst is probably bench. I mean, it, my bench isn't even that terrible. What is it? Uh, 375. It's probably double the books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I guess bench if I had to pick one, but I, I like all of it, so. The last question I have for you, like, those belts, do, they, <laughs> do them shits really, like, help you? They so they do increase performance for real. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. As long as you know how to use it properly, uh, like if you know how to brace your core, mm-hmm. um, then you should be able to take advantage of it. Back. Um, so, yeah. So I think the, do help. <laughs> the last thing people want to see is how strong you are. Uh huh. So you, you gotta show us. D buddy, you gotta show everybody. You gotta, you gotta flex, bro. Really you gotta flex. Like, like, I take the hoodie off. Yeah, you gotta take, take the hoodie off. Just hit him with. <laughs> just hit him with a little. If you do, we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, no, <laughs> but you, it. If you take the shirt off. We'll take the shirt off. Okay. All right. You know. But you show us first. I know. I know first. You about to put us in shade. I'm not, I mean, I, hey, I'm, I'm not going to put that in. I did some push Hey, I ain't little. I ain't <laughs> he had to drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn so me up, Dad. You turn around real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting a special peek. <laughs> this is not gay. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I said I was late. I wasn't joking. This <laughs> is what you have to aspire to be. Big uh, dog. Big dog. Don't leave me alone. I'm here here too, man. Let me, Stop playing with me. There you go. <laughs> <Let me>. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you got it here, man. It's another episode of this A and B conversation. With our boy Dan, we got our shirts off. So, I mean, if you're not tuned in by now, then you, you got to catch the vibe. You got to catch the <laughs> Drop vibe. Drop your um, social media, all that. Uh, basically, all my stuff is uh, Daniel Sign, but it's spelled D A N L S A N N. And just make sure to check my man out and like, subscribe, and you know what to do. And we out. <laughs>